Hey everybody. So, I want to do a video, uh, ATC, about those comments. And I'm going to probably do more than one because there are some awesome comments that I wanted to discuss. So, here's the original video. Beware the contaminator. About men getting the women pregnant. And yes, it is by design. Dusty men purposely ruin lives. Yeah. I think you have to understand, and some, some women are still in denial. A lot of people know they have nothing to offer anyone, and they don't plan on doing anything. So misery does love company. And that's what the mammies don't understand. Misery loves company. And that is why they do what they do. So uh, this, this is going to be a quick video because we're kind of busy day. Uh, Forever Lux Design says, when I was in grad school, my boyfriend at the time made a big deal out of not wearing protection. Now it makes sense. The way he acted up, the closer I got to graduation, it's very clear now. I'm so glad I got on birth control. He would have ruined my life. Mm-hmm. Um, Afro Atheist is now Afro Anti6154 says, I'm so happy that black women are smarter. I have children and I'm not divorced. My late ex-husband had passed away. I have much more now that he's gone. Mm-hmm. Why is that? For the first one, for Lux Designs, let me guess, you're in grad school. Uh, I didn't see her say anything about him being in grad school. No. See, she's the come-up girl. And believe it or not, he wants you to come down. Mm-hmm. She just, she's in grad school. But the boyfriend at the time, she didn't say we. She said she. Why? Because she's the come up girl. She's a come up girl. And that dust bucket wants you to come down. So one way to do this. Mm -hmm. As Samson Little 756A says, then after they do that and leave exactly, they can then run her into the ground verbally and emotionally for being a single mother and no one should date them. It starts with hate and continues with hate with many different forms. And for what? Kicks. That's exactly it. It's, they, they hate you. This isn't so, oh, no, you don't understand. Uh -huh. I've heard that before from black women. And I'm going to tell you, for those that think that, no, darling, you don't understand. You think about it. This is senseless. And it's been going on and on and on and on. Well, like I said, I saw the documentary and the documentary was from the 60s. You have got to be kidding me by darling. You got to be kidding me from the 60s. Who didn't get the memo? Who didn't get the memo? As Afro Anthony said, Afro atheist, sorry, is now Afro anti. <laughs> he passed away, and I have much more now that he is gone. The proof is in the pudding. This seems to be a black woman song. She got a man. Next thing you know, oh, the check is a stretch thin. It's taking care of her. It's taking care of him. It's taking care of all of the children. I keep telling you, it's, it's too many people on one darn check. One person going to work, how many eating off of it? Not just the children. This is a perfect example. My late ex-husband passed away and I have much more now that he has gone. Why? Because it's true. As a collector, he must have been part of the $50 billion liability boys. How could she have much more if he's passed away? So that means it's one income. So how could she have more? That that would indicate one income. So she has much more now that he's gone. Why is that? They're, they're not. I'm supposed to be a helpmate. They're not. Nothing but liability. As I just did on the Hallie uh, Berry uh, video saying, they're like, oh, yeah. She, 
she got to pay. She got to pay. Why? This is what they do. They show up in some woman's life. Child, your finance is about to go night, night. This is what they do. They are used to laying up on women and to see, oh, Olivier Martinez uh, get 8000 a month. Now, you do know the man has to have his own income because he can't live off. I'm, you know, he has been an actor, duh, in movies. That's why they love that. Why? Again, they hate women. They hate women to the core. That's why when you see things like that, they're like, oh, she got to pay him this, one, this amount of money for lo- her, uh, a month for the child. Sweetie, it'll, it'll never be you. It'll never be them. But why would they rejoice in that? Because this is what they do. And they love to extract resources from women. This is sad. And this also confirms that Brookings Institute, um, when they did the study, how that black women have a chance to get out of poverty. However, it looks like that chance seems to diminish whenever they have in their lives, be it a boyfriend or a husband. But it was saying specifically, as I recall, when they marry a black man. Why is that? Because you have to face reality. You are taking on a liability. Oh, yeah, you, you are taking on a liability. If most of them had something, uh, they wouldn't be with the sisters. They are there because they don't care. They hate women. They need the resources. All this time they've been here, haven't built for the community yet. They are very good at tearing it down. All this time, all these kids popping out, running wild, shooting, killing. Mad, angry at the world. And then, you know, I'm sorry to say, you, you carry a defective seed when you look up. Now, the kids be mad at the world, but it's like, I'm trying to still understand, how are you mad at the one that stayed? Could have left you at that fire station. Mad at the one that stayed, that lets you know defective DNA. And I'm willing to bet it comes from the dad. I don't see a whole bunch of them saying, oh, you know what? I'm going to go and find my father and, uh, you know, get him to man up. I, I, I don't see that. But you see hatred for the mothers. So let's look at this clearly. Obviously, the men hate you. You carry the seed and that little seed hates you too. What you going to do? Just keep on procreating with them? That is nonsensical. It, it really is. Doing the same old thing, the same old results. They come into your life, your good credit, your finances go night, night. They end up gone, look up. It seems the better you can get along. Less stress. Hence, beware the contaminator. Speaks volumes. So thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you all think. And I will see you in the next video. Stay safe, ladies. Bye.